um, I actually terraform an entire desert backyard um, for my castle base, my fortress. There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I, I terraform the entire back desert to um, be a dirt natural area to grow trees. Get the fuck off me, mate. It was not worth it. Uh, it was great to like constantly be able to plant out like a few hundred to a thousand trees or whatever, but like in the grand scheme of how fucking long it took to terraform the area, not worth it. That's the only thing I really wish I had taken a photo of because I could only take a photo of the map um, after I took down the trees because my game's ability to render anything after I had like the few thousand up was just basically fucking low. Also, Grim is doing a mostly, like, knife build this time, so, yeah, it ends up being, like, he'll stab him a few times and stuff. What the fuck? That's new. So we did multi-grain cereal. Interesting. Kind of cute. Um, what is this? Hey, there's a liquor pile, Grim. You ever seen that before? No. Yeah, I haven't either. Okay, there's recog in it. And murky water. Do you put... Mm. What's it? Do you not water. put any blocks directly below farm plots when you put them on the roof? Okay, so I usually have like a fully reinforced fucking tower. Um, I have generally my first floor of my tower, which is two to three stories up in the air to begin with, um, is concrete. I usually reinforce that to concrete and or steel. Um, and then the next floor up from that, which is based off of a bunch of pillars, is again usually concrete to cobblestone because the higher up you get, the kind of lighter you need it to be so it doesn't put more force and pressure on the lower levels. Um, otherwise you just get block damage and collapsing cave-ins and shit. And then on top of the top level, which is usually oh, wow. upgraded blocks. Found what? two pistols in that uh, purse. Nice. Well... Good self-defense, I guess. Um, yeah, normally a top layer is right. uh, upgraded blocks and or... Come back here, mate. Uh, or cobblestone. Usually cobblestone. And then I normally put the farm plots on top of that. So, I mean... I usually oh, also put gosh. in extra pillows. Uh, not fucking pillows. Pillars. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I know, right? Where'd these guys come from? I generally reinforce the place. Yep. Where's the leaper? Up here. I'm die already. Jesus. There we go. Come on. Oh shit. I don't have that kind of medical stuff. I'm bleeding oh. out. Hold up. Oh damn it. <laughs> You're right. Let's hit that. That's not going to do much, but whatever. Damn. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I'm going to die. I I'm coming too. To apply, yeah, I tried to apply the bandage, but ran out of time. I didn't bring any. I fucking put some back right as I left too. Oh, well. I wonder if we both failed that. Nope. We cleared it out before we died. Nice. Very nice. All right. Fuck off power saving mode. I do not want my phone in that. Um... How do I get I out of this? Drop all my stuff off and log off. Yes, exit the power saving mode. Jesus Christ. Um, there's still a little bit of time if you want to be able to put your stuff away. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And then, right. then I'm logging off. Gonna go tend to the zombies out round front. I hear some. Uh, right. go into up. creative mode real quick and try to rebuild your old base. Uh, you know, I've never actually gone into creative mode. Next time I come on, I'll probably do a bit more questing, but then, um... Come here, mate. I'll sort out what I've got in the place and, um, start doing upgrades. Oh, yeah. Well, I might travel over to my base again and do a collection of, like, harvesting and stuff. If it's not a problem, I'll just take some of the farm plots extra and get, um, some more potatoes and corn and shit grown. Yeah. Um... Let's see, that thing needs to be checked. Let's see, farming. Because I will probably end up making some farm plots um, myself. There's um, a couple of spots where on. I want to place down those are kind a couple of, more of farm important. plots. Um, yeah. Wouldn't be many, though. I take those. 
Yeah, no, we'll be able to make more. We've got so much rotted flesh. We just need more clay and nitrate. We should just haven't done any mining yet, is all. Uh, nitrate? Cobblestone is solid enough, however, steel has greater horizontal have stability. A bit of that. Yeah. Um, I should because have. I normally go. Um... I don't know if I took any screenshots on my last base, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. No. I don't know if I did actually I take any say, screenshots I've of underneath. I've got a lot of nitrate because I do a lot of the um, harvesting. Well, I was finding I wasn't getting always the same kind of balance of stuff. Like I was getting nitrate sometimes or I was getting bones or or leather or whatever other times. Like it was a mix now. Like you can't guarantee that that's what you're 100% going to get. Like you do get rotted flesh. But that's about as consistent as you can get. Okay. Yeah. Let's put those shotgun shells away. Now, I would yeah, not want to... I do have um, a fair bit of stuff that I need to bring over to the community uh, center. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to take the plots that we've got and go and um, build up, you know, to have that. Yeah. Uh, the farm stuff. I, I might as well swing past it at least like once a night. And I did say I was going to go past it by now anyway. Um, the Recogs Medical, that's right. That's what I was oh. thinking. Okie dokie. Now pop in here. Make sure these are on and off. Right, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. All right. I'll see you Monday. Yep. Next one's Monday. Yep. All right. Bye. Let's keep that. Turn off that. All right, I don't need to be taking food with me or drinks or anything like that. So whatever's in here can stack. Um, that can keep cooking for now. This can take these. I'll be traveling out at night, but I've got a fair bit of money on me and shit. So I want to kind of get out there. So I'll travel out to my base and hopefully get to that before. But I'm not going to make it there before nightfall, but you know I'll be there by nightfall. Let's see. Where is it now? Here. Yeah, I would not want to ever have to try to remake any single one of my bases. To be fair. Um, in every case, my bases have taken me literal days, weeks, fucking months, depending on the grand scheme of them. Like I've had some bases that, you know, we've played hundreds and hundreds of days into um, that have required multiple people's reinforcing um, bring in resources and everything. Like some of the best ones that I've had has had, you know, where everybody's happy enough to like roost up in the place that I'm reinforcing. And the funny thing is the super fortress place that I had, the water tower, which is in my discord and Instagram and stuff. Um, we actually tested that on a blood moon with all the server members on one night and it, it lasted uh, it was strong enough to last with minimal damage and all of us posted up on a wall, able to take out most of the zombies and stuff. And I think it was only by, like, the end of the night that one of the um, hatch doors finally went and that was the only weak spot on the fucking building. So it was really good. It was one of those things where, like, as far as a base goes, it was pretty good, but most of mine... A few of mine have been I've upgraded places that pre-exist on a map and a couple of them have literally been built 100% from scratch from the ground up. My last space was from the ground up. That's why I would not want to rebuild it because like, I put in all the support frames. I put in multiple walls, multiple like level blocks. Like I fucked around like with, um, we call it, um, was it trestles or something like that? You know, the shit you put up and around a house to like secure working on it and stuff like stuff like that. Just to be able to move around and like craft things properly. Um, at least my base isn't too fucking far away. Once I've got like motorbikes and gyrocopters and stuff like that, it'll be no time at all. I can't wait to see the new gyros though. I know with each game, they kind of upgrade the mechanics of stuff like in this one, the bicycles can smoke and not work and they get like worn down more. It requires a lot more repair kit to actually repair them and stuff. It's very interesting like that. But like I kind of am curious if there's any changes. I know between one or two of the alphas, maybe somewhere between 18 and 20 or 17 and 20, the bike design changed. 
like the actual motorbike design changed. And it went from looking, I think, awesome to a little more tame. I'll just clear out the zombies that are outside. I haven't upgraded any of my shit yet. I'm going to go for the more silent mode. Hey, mate. Nice. So I'll go the long lap. I haven't upgraded all my walls yet. I haven't even really finished working on this place. But personal bases come after community center anyway. And as I've said in the past, like I fully intend that this is an experimental um, alpha. So as far as I'm concerned, I I'm not con oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not concerned with having like a fucking perfect base because I'll just have to rebuild it again somewhere else or build something else later. Is it getting slack there? How am I going to slack, Grim? Pretty sure the door's actually on this side. Hold up. No. I'm going to need a light for this. Might be on this side then if that's the case. I might have done a full lap. I see you, dear. Fucking creepy ass thing. All right. Well, the outer walls are all safe at least. This is looking good. Let me put this down. Is it not doing the upgrades? Yeah, no, I've been... I've surprisingly been doing leveling. I know, it's fucking shocking. But, like, since I can't actually get, like, good, decent, like, XP from doing shit like this, like, there's not as much incentive to be home. Though I should be getting a few potatoes and shit from this, at least. I'll see what I can plant out with seeds and stuff. Give me the rest of water. Now, see if I can punch these off the wall without taking out the blocks. It'd be easier from the side. They kind of sit off a lot fucking more now. Um, I question how that sits in the grass like that. Um, either way, I was going to put like a secondary stripe going. All right, hold up. Come here, mate. Fuck off. I'm working on things. All right, I actually need those boxes back out to like repair that. All right, come here. I don't want to pick that up. I just want to copy shape. And where's my copy rotation? Yeah. Slap that down there. I'm going to have a problem with where the zombie is actually sitting. Is it? You don't need pumpkins. You already have one. Nick's not a pumpkin. I, I don't refer to Nick as a pumpkin. Um... I thought I heard another zombie then. Um, let's see. Copy rotation. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I can do. If I can just plant out what I've got in the way of potato seeds. I've got a few. I'm pretty sure these were the ones that I took from the base anyway. So maybe. I saw, whatever you do, don't kick my drink bottle off the table. She's been doing this thing late at night where she stretches. She like stretches out and then like goes to knock off cups and glasses and then ends up like spooking herself yeah no it, it's all good grim you get some sleep thanks for hanging out and playing um especially like helping me out with levels and stuff like that i really appreciate that been so fucking bad at that lately let me see to that i think i can slip in some oh, i don't have that was what that was wasn't it it was hops all right I can slap some mushrooms on the wall. I could probably put a blueberry there. I'm seeing what I can put down in this in the way of seeds that are pre-existing before I have to actually craft seeds. And my only other thought was that I was going to do around the corner, but I actually don't have a problem with putting them where I'm putting them. I just got to go get the other ones. I have a couple more inside, and I need to actually put um, money away as well. So yeah, this is my base. I end up picking a really nice fucking cabin. Um, really need to revamp seeds. They do. See, I'd love for them to take just a little bit of extra time and do something with, like, you know, the seeds and stuff. However, you got to also remember that fun pimps do not enjoy at all any of the uh, crafting fucking uh, harvesting stuff. Like, they basically, I think, would prefer that that's not a mechanic in the game. Well, Zula, I knew you were going to do that. Now you spooked yourself. Poor sweetie. See, it's all right. You just nudged the drink bottle. That's all you did. You can go back to sleep. You just need to calm down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to do pumpkins this time. We've already got enough. 
Um, I'll need to take some of this back, but let's see what I can craft into seeds. For the first few times that you do seeds, the only thing I really hate about it is the fact that they change the odds. So the way it used to be was you'd be like, okay, well, I get, uh, I need fucking clay for that. So like you get a seed, you plant the seed, you get maybe two items off the, the bush, right? One equals a seed and one equals food. Um, but they changed it that like you may not necessarily get a seed. So you'll get maybe one item and you have to craft that into a seed. So end up wasting half your harvest until you have twice as many plants as you actually ever needed. Um, you spend too much time farming for a little reward. The butt system. I agree. The old farming system was substantially better in that you could actually be like, oh, I'm going to have, I don't know, say 20, 30 farm plots. And that is going to be more than enough, um, as well as also being sufficient enough to feed an entire group and make more seeds and get me some fucking levels for sitting inside doing this. Uh, the biggest thing too is that being the person that does the food production, you do want to be able to actually get some levels for the time that you've spent inside. Now, I don't have clay, so I can't make more mushroom seeds so I'm kind of glad I brought the more spores that I've got yeah so yes it does piss me off that you don't get as much stuff for it but I understand that fun fun pimps is purposely trying to move away from people sitting inside and farming and they'd rather people go outside and potentially like maybe even find stuff out in the wild um it's a bizarre concept to a lot of people where did my farm plots go oh they're there that's right it's a bizarre concept because nobody fucking wants to waste time with that. Like, realistically, I can also jam that up against there. I was going to go that way, but fuck it. This will be easier if they're all kind of together. Also, another thing too, if you guys haven't seen it, is you can change how your farm plot looks. So you can make yourself some fancy ones. Like, they're nice and everything, but all i found is when you're trying to plant these really, really quickly... The seed doesn't know if it wants to sit on the top where the dirt is or down the bottom where the ground is. And it will sometimes flick in between it and you'll waste a seed trying to put it down um, while it figures it out. So that's really frustrating, but at least you can make like corner ones if you really want to. And they have the exact same space as a normal one. So yeah, if you only have a couple of spots inside or on a corner of something, like if I really wanted to, I could build that on the corner and... Yeah, I could still do that if I fucking want to, but it would only work on, like, the first floor because these things have to hold up to a three-block high radius for, I think, the maximum grower is corn and whatever the fucking other one, cotton, I think is the other one. Yeah, that's in line. Nice. So I've got three extra. I might as well slap them down. Put it somewhere. Put two on each end. And if I could figure out where the dead center of this is, I could decoratively put it. I would imagine it would be somewhere semi in line with this. I'm going to go with the fancy ass answer of, I didn't, I didn't fact check that, but it looks right. So let's slap some mushrooms on the walls. I'm also like really notorious for like anybody in my server can say this is I will find anywhere to put mushrooms, like any fucking where. And Server members come back all the time and there's fucking mushrooms in the most stupid places and they're just like, why is this here? And I'm like, look, it's a surface I can put it on. The game will let me put it on there and I don't need a farm plot. Like for ages we wasted farm plot spaces for that. And yeah, apparently you don't need to. Um, but yeah, when I'm throwing down seeds like this, if you have the fancier one, it sometimes tries to throw it down level with that in the spot. So, yeah, that can be really frustrating. All right, what else have I got? Corn, I actually didn't plant more corn, and I really should have. So I'll have to pull out something in here, like maybe a yucca or something, because, honestly, corn is more important than a yucca fruit. Give me that. Um, yeah, that'll do it. All right, so I'll take back whatever I've got. Um, or actually, I guess I'll stop in this place, in my home. So I will eventually put like crafting stations and all sorts of shit down here, I think. I have like a nice little storage room eventually in here because this kind of looks like where I'm supposed to have it. And 
then I'll make like crafting spaces around here because this kind of looks like where it's supposed to be. And I mean, there's a destroyed workbench anywhere. I just need to reinforce this better. I still haven't brought cobblestone over and it doesn't require much. It just requires, I think, uh, clay to be able to make cobblestone. Yeah. We just haven't done any mining. Mind you, we also don't have the best fucking shovels, so we're doing the best we can with what we got. Um, I'll head back upstairs. Miss the old farming system. Do you mean the ones where you could put it in the ground? Or um, is there an alternative one? Because I know that Fun Pimps is making like a big, big effort to be like, um, if you have a tool, a specific tool, it must be used for that specific item. Um, which can be really frustrating because sometimes, like when I was scrapping things initially, I scrapped things with fucking, I don't even know what, an auger. That's right. And you don't get jack shit from that. You gotta actually have a wrench or a ratchet to get stuff like off a car and whatever. So really frustrating. Cause yeah, not something I was aware of and just started doing. Alright, so I'll probably end up taking these back. Um, leave the seeds, leave the tree seeds, because I'll be the person that does that. Um, how am I going for time? Pretty good. I might have enough time to go throw some of these around. All of these seeds I will take back to base. I'm carrying too much of this that can stay in here. This is this is Nick and my base. So if I need to go do mining later, I'll come back and get stuff. If I need to buy something special, I'll come back and get stuff. I'm also hoarding the eggs because I like making higher quality recipes. And a lot of them used to be a debate in amongst our server members where um, people would often make um, bacon and egg meals. Uh, not because that's all their crafting skill would let you have, but because it was one of the cheapest meals you could make, but it wasted eggs. And we don't get eggs freely as a resource later because we're not walking around on our feet. We're on bikes and stuff. Whereas now you don't really get much of a fucking choice because the first things you can make as a solid meal is bacon and eggs, which was to me an absolute fucking slap in the face. Because I'm like, we tried so hard to like save them for so long. Because later in the game, when you've got really expendable money, you can just throw down at a trader and say, look, I haven't run around for five fucking weeks, but I'll buy every egg that you've got. And it's fine. I will have some hydrate grim. And I'll almost knock over that can. It's like, when we you smack a planted crop, it doesn't destroy the crop completely. It just returns. Yeah, so when it used to return to seed level, I believe that, that was probably one of the best ones. Nowadays, you've got to take the whole fucking thing out and then put it all the way back. Right, it's really frustrating. All right. I'm going to poke my nose out um, and put some spikes down uh, while I've still got a little bit of time. Traders have like two. Yeah, they do. So that's the other thing too, is at the moment while I'm running around, because half the time I hop off my bike and I just run. So I don't mind like the 19 eggs that I've got here. Like I have left some at the other base as I've found them. And as I've returned there, I've left them there. But ultimately speaking, like, yeah, I'm holding on to some of the ones that I've gone around and excessively just looted individually. Like it's, it's a lot of effort over a long time to get that many eggs. And I know there's some recipes, like, I don't remember if it's fucking pasta or something, but I know one of the recipes higher up requires eggs. And by then it's hard to come by once you can make it. Especially now with this new system makes it especially fucking hard to make it. Does it need cans of peas to make anything? Yes. Um, so cans of peas are very hard to find. So whenever I find them in a vending machine, I always buy them. But somewhere in here, like the... Um, uh, it's probably the shepherd's pie that probably requires it. I don't know about the pasta or the gumbo stew. Gumbo stew is hard to make. It requires like fats and and other stuff like the peas and stuff. Um, I think maybe the sham fucking one does. I'm not sure. I know a couple of these tiers do. A lot of the ones on this tier require eggs. Um, the first like four do, I believe. Um I also don't know if spikes do anything. I used to get so much XP off making these, planting them, upgrading them, having zombies walk into them. It used to be so good. 
so so good. Um, yeah, the chili dogs are pretty good. Is it darkness falls? You can craft chicken coops so where you can gather eggs, just uh, similarly to how you do collectors work. Yeah, see, look, I've I've definitely heard a lot of what darkness falls can do versus this. Um, and like I said, like I don't mind the challenge of this, especially since like it took us a while to really have a think about like where the fuck were the eggs coming from? Was it the random chickens or was it the um uh was it the vultures that spawn in if you get too many nests in an area? <laughs> like what are you actually eating? Chicken eggs, vulture eggs. Um Oh night wolf woke up. Oh, Way to go. You pretty much like right in time for the end of the stream too. You had such a long fucking nap. Um, Nightwolf is my stream wolf, by the way, guys. So if you're new here, just know that you can like pat him, feed him, play games with him, um, all sorts of stuff. And he's he's usually very happy to like receive all the love and attention and stuff that's involved with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need this to actually stack up to about here, I think. Um that you're eating dinosaur eggs pretty much like the way those things screech like they're supposed to be vultures but come on they do not look like vultures to me also that kind of looks in the distance like a loot bag straight ahead it might be maybe not um is it oh yeah grim i fucking know how much you love darkness falls trust me i believe i have at least a year's worth of hearing how much you love darkness falls <laughs> Um, accumulated in real time, <laughs> not game time. Um, I'm pretty certain of that fact. My XP level for listening to Grimm's Love of Darkness Falls is up there. It's it's high ranking. <laughs> I appreciate how disappointing the game is after like 10 years. It can be wrong. I have hundreds of hours in the game, but just sick and bitter. Yes, I can agree with that in some senses. I play this a lot more than anybody else on our server that plays the game. And I definitely have my opinions on shit that could be better or has been changed and has gotten worse. Like, I'm still pretty pissy about how they changed the chainsaws to sound like absolute shit instead of an actual chainsaw. Or how they changed the spikes from being something that could be, like, mega upgraded through, like, you know, uh, what is it? Like, iron and steel and stuff like that. And you get your XP from kills and how mad they look when, like, a zombie actually walks into them and stuff to being like these pissy little spikes that I don't think they actually gain XP, to be honest. Sounds like a zombie. I guess that's around the corner. Better be around the corner and not inside my base. Um, also, radiated vultures shoot acid. Ah, so that is the difference. So we've actually never noticed what specifically is the difference between vulture A and spitty vulture B. Fuck off, mate. All right, hold up. I have time to reload my gun, so you can just die. Um, darkness falls, you can get the ash chainsaw. Yeah. Like I said, trust me. I, I know. I, I know what goes on in the darkness falls. Um, I still won't play it, though. Um, Grim can't get me to play it, so there's that. I hate this as well. So apart from the fact that I did actually craft this in a way that it kind of goes out like that, so what I should realistically do is take out these end set blocks. Are you serious? There's fucking zombies walking into the things on the other side. I mean, I love probably just a walking horde, honestly. Right of you, where's the other ones? You guys are already breaking my shit. And confirmed, I'm not getting XP from it. Uh, what is it? Did I tell you that I love how many cooking, what is it? Any cooking options? That, yes, I, you have, Grim. Um, I don't think I have a plopper chair and let me spend three hours talking. He's not joking, people. That's that's a legitimate threat. It's not a joke. Yeah, okay, so you don't get XP from this. And it was a chicken. Fucking chicken. Breaking my work. I just put these up chicken I don't want to harvest thing I want to repair this also that's another thing too is aim to fix things <sighs> man I'll remove these and put them elsewhere later but at least it will protect my walls a little bit more fun fact as soon as you start putting spikes up zombies are far more likely to actually walk into the wall what the fuck dear really come on you had you had all the choices in the world and you chose death by spike 
You were like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Oh my god, you guys are terrible. Um, Falls just tends to be more fun. Well, for people that enjoy it, yes. For people like me that thinks that like breaks the law in immersion of the game, it destroys it. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, I I can honestly don't get me wrong. I can see and understand how and why you guys enjoy it. I do. Um, but I just don't. And it's one of those things where if I, uh, I've tried to explain this before. If with games, I'm very picky, but I can't actually explain what I do and don't fucking like about something. If I, if I'm not caught into a game, like if I'm not immediately like interested, I cannot be persuaded towards something that I'm not interested in. Just doesn't work. Um, unfortunately. All right, I've got all my shit lined up properly. My bike, hold up, put my bike back into my inventory, fix that up. Um, to be fair, the lore and Darkness Falls is different. It doesn't have a storyline quite chain, quest chain. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right. I'll walk back on my bed so I don't smash my fucking head into that again this time because I did that last fucking week. Um, it's also day 26, so I think we're two days out from Blood Moon. So that should be Monday at, uh, let's see, probably 11 or 12 o'clock Monday night, I believe. Um, Grim probably is in bed. He actually falls asleep to my streams more than probably, well, not quite as much as Nightwolf, but definitely more than most people do. Um, 